now coming to the applied anatomy of the respiratory tract first is the most important that is tracheoesophageal fistula if there is a defect in formation of the tracheoesophageal septum then that will lead to formation of tracheoesophageal fistula and uh, it is of type five types a b c d and e in first type which is most common in this this is the yellow one is the esophagus and bluish one is the trachea in the first the proximal part this is proximal part of the esophagus it is blind or it is ending blindly and the lower part of the esophagus it is communicating with the trachea so this is tracheoesophageal fistula so this type of the tracheoesophageal fistula in which the lower part of the esophagus is communicating with the trachea is most common and in this condition proximal uh, part of the esophagus is blind and 90% of the cases this anomaly is present uh, most commonly this uh, type of the tracheoesophageal fistula is it present in 90% of cases and the second one in this condition both end of the esophagus are blind then the third one in this condition upper part of the esophagus and lower part of the esophagus both are communicating with the trachea and they are for they are forming a h shape they are for they are communicating by a common opening with the trachea so this third type is also called as h type of the tracheoesophageal fistula in the fourth one upper part of if the esophagus is communicate with the communicating with the trachea and forming the fistula and the lower end of the esophagus is blind and the last one in this condition also uh, upper part of the esophagus and lower part of the esophagus both are communicating with the trachea but the, what is the difference in between c and e they are communicated with the trachea by separate opening both are opne, opening separately into the trachea so the tracheoesophageal septum uh, formation is defective if that then will it will lead to formation of the tracheoesophageal fistula and most commonly it is a uh, first type or the type a in which upper part of the esophagus is blind and the lower part is communicating with the trachea now the vectoral association of the tracheoesophageal fistula so, uh, this tracheoesophageal fistula is associated with many anomalies that is called as vectoral association here the v stands for vertebral defect a for anal atresia c for cardiac defect t for tracheoesophageal fistula e for esophageal atresia and r for stands for uh, renal anomaly and l for limb defects so this uh, uh, these anomalies are uh, may be associated with the tracheoesophageal fistula and that is called as vectoral association or the uh, of tracheoesophageal fistula now the th uh, now next anomaly is accessory bronchi may arise from the trachea here this bluish one is the trachea and accessory bronchus is arising here the these are the normal two bronchi and accessory bronchi is arising at higher level and uh, there may be small lobe of the lung may be related to this uh, extra bronchi here from the principal bronchus another uh, bronchi is arising and entering into the lung tissue and in the third one tracheal bronchus this is the tracheal bronchus and uh, this bronchus both are uh, entering into the lung tissue and so apical bronchus is not entering into the lung tissue but the these accessory bronchi they are entering into the lung tissue now other congenital anomalies of the lung agenesis of the lung means there is uh, no development of lung then it is called as agenesis and there may be hypoplasia of the lung in the last class we have discussed that if there is diaphragmatic hernia then uh, thoracic cavity will be smaller or uh, there will be less space because of herniation of the abdominal organ into the thoracic cavity so lung will uh, lung have less space to grow then so that will lead to hypoplasia of the lung and in this condition there will be difficulty in breathing if there is mild case and in severe case there are cases there may be death of the baby but in the mild cases where the hyper uh, lungs hyperplasia uh, is there and uh, when we place the baby in a supine position or the standing position what will happen 
because of gravity there will be reduction of hernia. So, hernia will be herniated organ which are and uh, which has been entered into the thoracic cavity they will again go into the abdominal cavity and there will be relieving the compression on the lungs and that will lead to uh, relieving to the baby. Now, there may be abnormal lobes of the lung or accessory lobes of the lung. So, these extra lobes of lung and or accessory lobes are called as azygous lobe of lung and one term is that lobe of azygous vein. These terms are different here if the accessory lobe of lung is there then we will call it azygous lobe. But what is lobe of azygous vein? In this condition here the normally what happens the, the arch of azygous vein is present on the medial side of the lung surface or we can say on the mediastinal si uh, surface of the lung and this arch of azygous vein this is normal position. What happens in abnormal condition? This arch of azygous vein is uh, related to the apical part of the lung this is the apical part of the lung and it will divide the lung apical part of the lung into two parts. So, the part medial to it medial to the azygous arch is called as azygous lobe. So, the what is lobe of azygous vein on the right side of the lung normally azygous vein arches on the mediastinal surface, but if in abnormal conditions or uh, if sometimes it may arch uh, it may present on the apical part of the lung. So, this arch of azygous vein is dividing the apical part of lung into medial part and the lateral part. So, medial to the azygous arch this part of the lobe of right lung is called as azygous lobe of azygous vein. This is wrong uh, here should be written lobe of azygous vein ok. Now, ectopic lung lobe there may be ectopic or extra lung lobes may be there here this is the extra lung lobe or the ectopic lung lobe. Ectopic lung means uh, it may be present anywhere here the stomach and this is esophagus and here the ectopic lung tissue is present. So, this are, these are ectopic lung lobes. So, that is all about uh, a respiratory uh, system development. Thank you.